All right, YouTube, what's going on? Um, recapping, I know I'm a day late on this, but recapping the Bengals-Eagles game. 34-13 uh, was the final score. Now, if you were to look at the score and nothing else, you would think, damn, Bengals played a pretty damn good game. Looks can be deceiving. The defense is what won us that game. I mean, it was nice to see the Bengals' defense actually step up for once and actually make a bunch of turnovers and, you know, all that stuff, make plays for us because that's really the first time they've done it all year. But Andy Dalton didn't play with the shit, in my opinion. I mean, he I don't know what he was for numbers, but it was, but it, it was like 50% or 49%. I mean, I'm just not, was not impressed at all. Um, I'm glad the Bengals won, don't get me wrong. I'm glad they won their 8-6 and six now. They um, got a tough uh, last two games. They play Pittsburgh and Baltimore, so that's, like I told you, if we're going to get to the playoffs this year, we're going to earn it, no doubt about it. Now, I know I've, I know uh, that I've criticized the Steelers all this season long, saying that they're old, and, and they are old, but that even that being said, don't matter how old you are, if the Bengals can't stop the pass, guess what? It don't matter. So, like I said, um, yeah, I'm glad we won. Glad, like I said, glad we won, but I'm not really impressed. I mean, we beat a 4-10 and shitty Eagles team. Okay, so I'm not really impressed. I'm not excited about it. Not excited about it, to say the word. I mean, I'm happy we won, but it's, it's a game we should have won. You know? You know, I mean, us beating the Eagles, I mean, that's like the fucking, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think here. Like, like the Packers bragging about beating the Lions. You know, it, like I mean, it don't mean much. But it's, like I said... Glad they won. I'm going to keep it short. Um, I'm sorry. I have a hard time thinking. That deal with that elementary school that happened yesterday is still in my f mind. It's pissing me off. But anyways, that's neither here or there. Um, it's just the Bengals played good defensively. They played really good. Um, offensively, they could have done better. Um, Andy Dalton, like I said, he he's had way better days. But he's had way worse days, too. I don't know what the future holds for the Bengals at the quarterback position. This is Andy Dalton's second full season almost, and um, really, I mean, he's played good. I mean, I'll give him that, but he needs to do better. And f I mean, there are games where he does throw two or three interceptions, but like I said, any quarterback, you can't hold him for mistakes because it's going to happen. Andy Dalton's pretty consistent. You know, I mean, <laughs> he's way better than Carson Palmer by any stretch of the imagination, but as Oakland is finding out, but... Anyways, guys, so we got Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh next week. It's going to be a tough game. Um, I hope the Bengals can pull it off, but I don't see it happening with that secondary we got right now. I just don't. And believe me, I don't think Pittsburgh's going anywhere either because, I mean, let me look. With that, if they didn't have Ben Roethlisberger, Pittsburgh Steelers are a 6-10 team at best. I've always said that, and I'll stick by that. But, um, but anyways, so... Glad the Bengals won, fellow Bengal fans. This is a good win. It's not a win to brag about, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I, there are some people that are saying I'm being too hard on the Bengals because they're young. Well, I understand they're young, but you know what? I mean, come on. They, if they want to be known in this league, they're going to have to be good teams. I mean, that period, cut and dry. I mean, you can. I mean, when you beat teams like Jacksonville and Detroit and God knows who else, Cleveland. I mean, it, it's, it ain't saying much about you, really, is it? Now, if you take down the teams like Pittsburgh and Baltimore, and even with Pittsburgh as banged up as they are right now, they're still a, a known winning franchise. So we need to... We should have won against Dallas. You know, I'm happy the Cowboys did win, because like I said, that's my mom's favorite team, but all due respect, we should have won that game. Um, we we uh, didn't execute well. We missed some opportunities. We only lost by one point, but the, still the Bengals should have won that game. But um, if they had won that game, I probably would have guaranteed us the playoff spot right now. But um, anyways, that's all I got for you. So we play then Pittsburgh, and I think the Baltimore game's in Cincinnati. And yeah, yeah, it's an, and everybody knows the first game of the year we got humiliated at Baltimore. I think they caught us on an off day because I don't think Baltimore's really that good, honestly. But especially with their defense banged up now, I don't see them going nowhere. But so stay tuned for next week. Play the Steelers. So glad the Bengals won. But like I said, we played the Philadelphia Eagles. That I got a couple friends who are Eagle fans. They say, fuck. They said they just haven't watched the Eagles all season. They said they're disgusted with Andy Reid. Michael Vick needs to go. Nicholas Foles, I mean, I don't know how good he is. Honestly, I really didn't pay attention. But he may be a good quarterback. Who knows? Or maybe he's just a temporary thing to get him by for the year. But 
Eagles may be looking at drafting a quarterback, I would think, but Andy Reid, honestly, I I never was impressed with Andy Reid at all. But anyways, so stay tuned for more videos, guys, on Hootay, Go Bengals, and uh, we'll stay tuned for next week.